without any further ado. Ladies and gentlemen. Guys, gals, and all of our non-binary pals out there in internet land. It is my distinct obligation to introduce to you the all 226 525th top drink streamer right here on twitch.tv. The man who took not once, not twice, but three restarts to fix all of his technology issues. In about four articles, but it's done! Yeah, 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 yeah. Save, save your enthusiasm for the guest. For the friend! The one. The only. 50% of Avatar the Podcast. 100% of Adapt as a DC Animated Universe Podcast. And founder of Button Smash. Do it! Co-founder, I mean. Just do it! Get Just ready, because here it. he comes! No, he no. That's what she said. Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Finish them, sir! There's a distinct lack of emotes in the chat right now. I'm noticing. I'm noticing. It's fine. It's fine. I don't like emotes anyways. It's fine. No, I didn't just run around like like the doctor trying to fix the TARDIS. No, that wasn't me. Why do you ask? It wasn't me. What is going on, everyone? We have, I'm so far behind on our guests and I apologize so, so much. So, so much. Don't comment in chat. It's a surprise. Oh shit. I didn't even, I didn't even see. I didn't even see if I fixed the thing. I guess it's true. This, this stream isn't after all. That's uh, so funny. What's going on, Zach Umber, Magneto, Dylan? Uh, thanks for the raid, Kylum. Who else came in here? Who else is in here? Maddie. Everyone lurking. Hello. Come on in. Feel free to chat. Feel free to chat. If you like. Your beard is looking extra great today, Greg. I know. I know. I got to do something about that. It's all the stress. It's all the stress from everything not working. Okay, it's still working. Uh, so I hope everyone had a great week. Tell me, how was it? Tell me all about it. Tell me. Zach, thanks for the tier one gift sub to Invincible. Wait, sorry, thank you for the I f stop. Thank you for the tier one sub too. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's that's looking good. That's, that's looking good. So, um, we have you had one job. I got it on the second try. We have a very special friend that we're talking to today. Uh, I'm very, very excited that he agreed to be on. Um, you might know him as probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 
the streamer to watch for Apex content. That's what I'm going to say. The streamer to watch for Apex, Pokemon. I should probably call him right now. If you guessed, hope this works. It might not work. Hello? 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 It works! It works! If That's right, everyone. If you guessed Kylum, oh, you would it. be correct. You would be correct. I got to turn you up, though. Do it. That's just, that's just, just Discord. All right, it. talk now. Hello? Hello? Yes, perfect. Okay. I think that's good. It. Chat yes, will, I, Zach will yell at me if it sounds Just like that. So. Yeah. So. I've had some mic issues uh, the past like week or so. So that's all I'm right. A nervous. I've had everything issues it. this past 30 minutes. So sorry. Sorry. It's started a little late. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> um, cool. So Kyle, if you're unaware, what we like to do with the phone a friend Friday is I phone a friend and we do cringy icebreaker questions uh, okay. and then we'll do some would you rathers. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Which, which it, it'll watch- be easy. You know, no, no, no stress. It better be funny though. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll be on. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, I'll be at my hundred percent game. I can control uh, it like that. <laughs> hey folks. Oh, uh, I can hear it too. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've got this rigged up so you can hear everything. That's right. Kyle. <laughs> Oh, you got the sexy applause. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Um, so while I quickly bring up all the icebreaker questions that I usually use, we'll start you off with a nice kind of easier one, in my opinion. Okay. But yet requires so, so much thought. And that yeah. is, if you could choose one superpower to have in the world, what would that be? Cool. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I I think about this a lot. Yeah, me too. And I can never come up with an answer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my first like, instinct is flying. Flying just sounds so cool. Okay, but like but like what like so why flying and not like super jump for example? Right. That's what I well if okay if I took a super jump or a flying I think that's a, that's easy flying. But if it's like super jump plus like enhanced strength, then it's like oh. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I, I would think that if you get super jump, you would get some sort of invulnerability, at least in the legs region. Yeah, like the like, like Spider Man, but just jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like, or like the Hulk. Like the Hulk, he does super jump. Sure. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. 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 Or um, what is it? There's a character in Marvel. Uh, he's been in some of the live action stuff, but he's very toned down. His name is Bartok the Leaper, and he just oh. leaps. But he, yeah, he, yeah, you know, him. the kick guy. Yeah, the kick guy who was in uh, Winter yeah. Soldier, and um, also I think was I think he was in um, Falcon and Winter Soldier as well. He was. Yeah, very yeah, briefly, he, very he briefly. Got, <laughs> so yeah, he got beat up in in, in both of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, his name is Bartok the Leaper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what do you, what do you expect? He's gonna actually hold his own against anyone? No. Yeah. No. Um, where would you fly to? Um, it's like anyone who, who knows me, I think this is like such an easy cop out guess, but it's like, I'd love to go to, I want to go to Japan. I haven't been to Japan. I want to go. Um, so here's an interesting one. What if you had flight, but it wasn't like super speed flight. It was just like the speed at which you walk. (laughs) Would you still want to go to Japan? No. Well, (laughs) no, I wouldn't go to Japan. I'd still want it. I think. Okay. Okay. Um, I was thinking, um, because because I, w- I watched Invincible. Yeah. And this isn't a spoiler. Yeah. But like. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Did you say you watched in. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I put up the thing. I put up the thing. It's my favorite bit. <laughs> it's my, it's my um, favorite bit. Well, there's that th- there's that thing where uh, Omni-Man just floats around the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. It's just intimidating. It is, yeah. Like, imagine you're just like at someone's house, and they're like, "Oh, uh, can you take your shoes off?" And you're like, "I don't have to." And you just hovered six <laughs> inches off the ground. The so, like, like here's the thing: what if you were getting mugged, 
and you only uh -huh. had this power of flight and you just looked at them very like you did the the Kubrick stare so you just looked at them very menacingly right but you start yeah. floating do you think they would run away I think I would I think so yeah I think I'd be like holy crap this guy's possessed or something you just book it and then little do they know you can just fly at normal walking speed yeah not even sprinting speed just normal walking speed yeah <laughs> great that's great um i would choose after much debate mm -hmm. i think i would want time manipulation i think that would be a really cool power to have because it's multi-purpose because yeah. you can fake teleport and you can um like really just mess with people too so like you could like if so you didn't really like the cut of someone's jib let's say like you're in a food court and it's the before times this guy okay. is this guy or girl i don't know it's really just yep. cutting you the wrong way. You could stop time as they're about to sit down, take out their chair from underneath them and go away and like go from a safe distance and watch them fall and laugh. Yeah. Like you could do or telekinesis, I guess. But I feel like um, if you could control time, you could also like rewind it and and fast forward it and kind of see what's going on, you know? Or yeah, just rewind yeah. it to like 2019 and just live in 2019 for the rest of your days. I do love weird superpowers in in media. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Again, not not a spoiler. But I don't know if, if I know you have watched My Hero Academia, right? But yes, I'm not. Um, I haven't finished season four yet. Okay, so this is not a is this is only a spoiler. Can I spoil a, a minor character's power? Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. There, there's a character whose power is that he can physically manifest the sound effects from comic books. I don't think so I've seen like, him yet. That's really funny. Bang, pow. And he says like, kabang, and an explosion happens. And I'm just like, that's such a... And his face is literally like a page from a manga. And I'm like, this makes no logical sense in the universe, but I love how weird that superpower is. That's really funny. It's kind of like, um, did you see Doom Patrol? At least the first season? No, not yet. Oh, put that on, put that on your to-do list. Okay. Um, there's, this is like minor spoiler for like a character's powers. Um, uh -huh. She's kind of like split personality. So each of her different personalities has different powers. And one of them is very similar to what you said, where like she like manifests metal, but she like manifests it in like, onomatopoeias so she'd okay. be like sick and like the word sick would show up in metal and she just like throws them and like pierces people oh, and stuff yeah. like that uh like that. pretty cool it's pretty cool yeah yeah I, I think honestly though if if like someone like the power broker came up to me and was like you can have a power i'd be like yeah yeah whatever whatever i don't even care just give me something yeah like like yeah, i would I like some time manipulation even flight or telekinesis but like if i got stretchy powers I'd be okay with that too. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I'm trying to think if there's a power I wouldn't be okay with. What'd you say? I'm trying to think if there's a power I wouldn't. Oh be okay yeah, yeah. With. I don't think they're. I think maybe. Um, what's his name from the boys? The Aquaman knockoff from the boys. The oh, deep. The, the deep. deep. I don't yeah. think I'd want like scales on my chest like that. <laughs> I'm I, sorry, I forgot about the deep, and I just. I, he's a terrible character, and I love how how like. An entire, like, subplot of the show is them making fun of the deep. Yeah. And he joins the damn cult and all that. Oh, yeah, like yeah. It's so funny. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd want the deep's powers in terms of just, like, like, mm -hmm. like I guess talking to sea animals is kind of cool, but, like, having the scales and, like, they're so vulnerable and they're right there. I don't I don't, I don't think so. I think that's the only one. I think if the power broker is like this, I'd be like, eh, keep it. I got one more. Yeah. yeah. Would you take Daredevil's powers with everything included? Oh. Have to go blind. so here's the thing though mm -hmm. like maybe but because i'm thinking of ben affleck's daredevil where he had to sleep in that damn chamber <laughs> the water coffin. the water and i feel like i just can't do that although yeah. you don't have to worry about wetting the bed true it doesn't i mean it does matter but not necessarily you don't have to change the sheets afterwards <laughs> it's just it's now canon that Ben Affleck Daredevil wakes up in a in a two inch deep puddle of his own urine every morning. It's just slightly warmer than when he went to bed. Yeah. It's so gross. 
<laughs> that must be terrible because he probably has better scent, a uh, better sense of smell too, just normally, mm -hmm. right? When you lose one sense, all the others are are uh, enhanced for normal people. So yeah, I'll admit that I'm not super caught up. I, I don't know a ton of the comics lore, but I've seen the show. Yeah, and I've watched the Ben Affleck movie, and yeah, my understanding is that everything else got so boosted that he's basically not blind, but he's still kind of blind. But like, so here's the thing though. You can't use any uh, any screens. Yeah. So computers, phones, like games, they're all out. I That's almost think I wouldn't take it now. But if you had like, if you told me like, okay, you can go back in time to when you're like six and I'll give you the powers then, I'd be like, yeah, I'll take that. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say like, if you can go back in time to like 1950, then yes, oh. I would I would take that because the, there's very little screens to be had in 1950. Yeah. Um, you know what? If if it is it also that I'm really good at fighting as well? Because that maybe that might be good. Um, yeah. it's like, do I have so his like I, skills that don't necessarily pertain to his powers? Or I think he has like good instincts, so I think you would still have to train to fight, but you uh, have a, a step up. Because uh, he still has to train. I think I think it's a pass for me on that. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I think I'm going to tap out to that's, to us uh, gills on the chest wild, and daredevil powers. That's such a wild thing to someone comes up to you and they're like I'm going to give you superpowers and you're just like mm, pass. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. I saw you offering it to that guy about daredevil. No thanks. Yeah. You, you pedal your wares elsewhere, pal. Get out of here with your Netflix series powers. I don't want that. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, although you do get one of the Bash brothers as your best friend, so I don't know. No, I'm still passing. All right. Um, I'll give you some categories for the next icebreaker questions, and okay. you tell me which one, and then from there I'll give you a number range to choose from. We're just gonna make it super complicated for you. So we have yeah. music, media, and entertainment, sports, education and goals, personal, favorites, and random. Uh, let's go with favorites. Favorites. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So number one through ten. Uh, four. Four. All right. What's your favorite food? Ooh, this is tough. Like I don't even. I wish um, you. I wish you never picked this one. I'm a tie. Yeah. But it, um, and I'll say this: the no ties. Okay. Um. I would say chicken wings. Ooh. Okay. Um, for a long time, I was also uh, a, a like flavored sauce kind of person. But as I've gotten older, I've decided to take more risks, and so I get hot wings now. Ooh! And so I'll, I'll go hot wings. Hot wings. So, like, how hot? Like, are you sitting so in like a nice like, middle, or are you going for like the the Diablo burn your the roof of your mouth off, and you can't eat for four weeks? Whatever the def whatever they go for is hot. So like above medium, but if it's like the tongue burner i'm like i'm i'm good yeah if if you can eat it without coughing you're good but it has to be like yeah. right at that level pretty much i like it so if you inhale it you get you have to cough a little bit but okay. not just being near it makes you cough okay i'm getting to that that zone i just switched from medium to hot salsa i'm very Ooh. proud of myself nice uh, i did it on a, on a whim there's this salsa that's called uh what the hell is it called green mountain gringo salsa I had that hot and I'm not going back. I bought a can of medium and I just ate it plain pretty much just to get rid of it. So it wasn't wasteful. Okay. But yeah, uh, mine is, uh, so my tie is between pizza and taco. Mm. Also it, good options. Yes. So here's the thing is picking one though, for my own rules, because I, I think what it boils down to not taco pizza though you can't put tacos on pizza it's not the same i've tried it it's a bad combo i think it's, it's not a good combo in theory it works and i I've, I've tried multiple times with different kinds of combinations of sauces like i even tried just like salsa as the sauce no 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 yeah. bueno no thank you what i think it boils down to is if someone was like you i'm gonna take away one of these foods from you for the rest of your life which one would I hate for them to choose? And that's pizza. So I'm going to say pizza is my all time favorite food. Also favorite food of my childhood heroes, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nice. 
So, you know, you can't you can never really go wrong with pizza, in my opinion. My my brother was also a big uh Turtles fan. Oh yeah. And so he had a he had a camera that had a little watermark uh of a turtle. Ooh. Uh and so a lot of our like old family pictures have this like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles watermark in the bottom right corner. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's, it's like pictures of of me coming home from the hospital is <laughs> with the turtles logo in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> All these serious moments. Yeah, it's 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 great. Oh, <laughs> uh, I I want to see. I just want to see more of that in my life, I think now. Like having like portrait photography of like an engagement session with the Ninja yeah. Turtles logo watermarked in the lower right hand yeah. corner. <laughs> With the sunset going perfect and everything, and now you can never get rid of that watermark. So good. Right. So good. Um, okay. Do you want to stick with favorites, or do you want to move on to a different topic? Uh, let's let's switch it up. Let's go... What was it? TV, movies, entertainment? Yep. Music, media, and entertainment. Yeah. Let's All right. Up. One through 20. Ooh. Uh, 17. 17. Um... <laughs> You're not doing 17. 17 is, do you like to play video games? I'm going to assume oh. yes. <laughs> I do it. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll pass on that. Um, we'll pass on that one. Let's go 15. 15. Uh, okay, here we go. What is your favorite video game? Ooh, this is a this is a tough one. Yeah, it's a big question. Um, so my number one answer is uh, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild okay which which is was wild it was crazy to me because you know i was i was kind of an adult when that game came out and so it's weird to uh i don't know if you had this too what's what's your favorite game uh i'm still i'm still formulating that i'm i'm okay i'm always torn if i want it have it be a more recent game or if it's like one from my childhood is always the problem that I have with these, you know, your favorite game, movie, TV show, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that The Last of Us Part One is definitely up there. I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it's top five for sure. Okay. Uh, just from the impression that it left on me. But like, yeah. I always feel like I should say, like, I don't know. Um, Little Nemo Dream Master because that was like the game that I played the most as a kid or Chippendale's Rescue Rangers on the NES because that was the first two player co-op game that I ever played oh. and it was like wonderful and I have very fond memories of uh, me being Chip and my brother being Dale and then me picking him up or vice versa and tossing each other down into like the pits when we were just aggravated with everything yeah um but actually, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that I'm really thinking about it, my brain is really going. I have to say, I think my all-time number one favorite game is probably Pokemon Blue. Ooh, okay. And I think that because I have played many Pokemon games since then, not as much as most people, but you know, a good amount. And yep. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch right now. Granted, I have not played Pokemon Snap or new Pokemon Snap yet. But I think I liked Pokemon Let's Go so much because it was essentially red, yellow, blue. Yes. Yeah. I so, so. That's, a good, that's a good answer. I mean, yeah. Pokemon is probably my favorite franchise, but I don't think I have one in particular that climbs above the rest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It, like, it, I, I have my favorites, but I don't have one that's so high above everything else. That... I think it's also blue for me because that was the first one I ever played. And that was like what really got its yeah. teeth into me. And I have really nothing but fond memories like i remember i don't even know what my parents thought when i did this so i would sneak my game boy to school and they'd be Same. like you're not bringing it and i'd be like yeah yeah okay okay so then i'd like find a way to get it into my book bag every morning like it had to be a different way because they were very very smart um and then i get home and then i would just literally rush to the bathroom just to play like an extra 15 20 minutes of just pokemon before homework Nice. So I was in seventh or eighth grade at that point. So I can imagine what my parents thought I was doing. <laughs> but it wasn't that. It was playing Pokemon Blue, which is maybe a little more embarrassing. I can't tell. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> they say your parents always know when you start playing Pokemon. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, I was relatively supported in my Pokemon playing, I think. I did have the same, like, don't bring it to school. And my school had the no Game Boys thing. Yeah, yeah. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used but to I, I used to play that in in um, home or not home room, whatever. We had like a reading period, so I would yeah. just put a. I do the old uh, comic book in front of the the book textbook thing, but it would just be yeah. a Game Boy, and they caught me every time because you can't just read a Game Boy. It was very obvious well, when I wasn't turning pages. I used to do the. My school had a an after school program, and my uh, my parents both worked like until like five o'clock or whatever mm. and so I would, I would stay at the school until like my brother was was out of school because he was in high school at the time i was in elementary and so that was my pokemon time and i had a friend with a game shark who oh, would nice. give us like we would bring in pokemon and and we'd get like mew yeah oh man i, I had like, i had all 151 um <laughs> I had a buddy who was like, oh, I, I just, I need Mew as well. And we knew like the clone trick. Remember that? Right. Where you yeah. like pull out the cable just at the right time. But if you do it at the wrong time, it's like the fusion dance of Dragon Ball Z, right? If you just yeah. like do it at the wrong move at the wrong time, instead of just being like overweight or skinny or doofy, you just lose your entire existence in Pokemon. And, and he yeah. did that. He lost oh. everything. I had every Pokemon. And... Yeah. The only thing that I was excited about mm -hmm. was that I could try to get missing no again. And I didn't know that it was hard coded into your cartridge, which one you got. So I thought maybe I'd get a different one and I didn't. And it was just lame rapid ash. Oof. I don't like rapid ash for these reasons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, uh, but yeah, no, Breath of the Wild's my, my okay. favorite. That's, that's and... a great one still. What was it before Breath of the Wild? Do you even it was... know? Yeah, it was a toss-up between uh, Fallout 3 and Majora's Mask. Oh, those are great ones. Fallout 3 was the first Fallout game I ever played. It Same. was so I, good. It was the reason I got a uh, a PlayStation 3, because I went, to, I went to my friend's house after school, and I hadn't... I Throughout, like, middle school, I didn't really play a lot of video games. Mm -hmm. Um and I went to a friend's house after school when I was 13 and he had a 360 and he had Fallout 3 and he's like, you want to play? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and I remember I went, I loaded up his save and he was like in the subway system and I could just hear ghouls in the next room over. And, you know, this is 2008 or something. Yeah. So in those times it was it was wild to me it was it was it, the game looked amazing by those standards oh yeah sure absolutely and so i was terrified and i was i thought it was so cool to be that scared and so for christmas that year i asked my parents to get me uh, a playstation 3 and they were like do you want an xbox instead because it's 200 dollars cheaper and i was like no i want a playstation <laughs> no i don't want your peasant xbox that's what i got by the way the peasant xbox 360 in retrospect, I should have. I would have had yeah. more friends if we got the Xbox. It's it's kind of interesting to think of like all of the trends that these like consoles kind of follow. So not really trends, but I guess like personas maybe. So the PlayStation Two was like the people's console, right? Like I I feel like I knew more people who had a PlayStation Two than had an OG Xbox. Yeah. And then when the next generation hit the xbox 360 played the same games that looked kind of the same like very minimal differences from the ps3 but it was so much cheaper and so much more accessible and they just kept on pumping out all these different models and yeah you had the red ring of death but like they were supporting that and they were like giving you new ones back or they're fixing it or whatever and then playstation lost a lot of publicity i feel like out of that because you know all of a sudden you're like this elitist like you know, oh, they won like the Ultra HD versus Blu-ray or whatever the hell they were called um, mm -hmm. discs. And I don't know. I just feel like there's like a stigma with the PlayStation 3. And then the PlayStation 4 hit. And I feel like, at least in my friend group, more people liked the PlayStation 4 than the Xbox One because the Xbox One started with that whole weird like 
um, copyright stuff or whatever, or we had to like connect to the internet once a day. And, you know, now of course we connect to the internet at least once a day on consoles. But at that time yeah. it was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to do that and be like pigeonholed into this. So then, um, what was that video that I think it was uh, that how to share yeah! games on PS4? Yeah. I thought about that video the other day and I was like, how long has Sony coasted off that video? So long, so long. And then um, Xbox with this generation, although I still think the, I mean, it's, I think it's a little too early to say, but I think more people want the PlayStation 5 than the Xbox Series X or yeah. Series S. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just because like now Microsoft is like, all right, put all of our games on PC. Like who cares at this point? But yeah, they, they, tr Xbox. they tried to capitalize on that whole thing where there was that video for the PlayStation 5 of like, this is how you put it in vertical mode. And they like, you know, they take out the stand and they they put it in and that's what she said mm. um they twist it and all that stuff right and then x and xbox is like this is how you put your xbox series x into vertical mode and they just tip it over yeah it didn't it's, quite have that same stinging power though no I, yeah you always you always benefit from going first enough yeah benefit. now they're just copying yeah and me meanwhile nintendo's just like bring our home our main console with you wherever you want in the world we don't care take yeah. it and everyone's like yes yes please oh and by the way all those games you like the last generation you can bring them to you with in the grand canyon if you want it's fine no big deal it's just yeah. absolutely wild yeah uh also real quick i just want to say hi to chuck chris baron and beans coming in hi guys there's no there's no subs or anything i just want to say hi to them because they're my friends yeah, I got you. Uh, okay, so we can go right into Would You Rather, or we can do okay. one more icebreaker. Let's do one more. One more icebreaker, then we'll go into some Would You Rathers. Gotcha. Um, let me think. All right, so you pick the category. How about chat picks the number? I pick the category. Pat picks the number. You pick the category. Okay. Okay. You pick, you pick um, the category. Let's go. Uh, let's go entertainment again. I like that. Entertainment one. again. Okay, cool. Chat's already picking a number, and they don't even know the range yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, music, media, entertainment. We're gonna go uh, one through ten. We're gonna narrow it down a little bit here. One through ten. I see a seven. I see a seven, but that was before I said that. Seven. Okay. All right. Beans said seven again. All right. Beans seven. Oh, here's another. Word. What is your favorite? What is your favorite movie? Ooh. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. Um, this one's... Um, uh, embarrassing is maybe like a a bit a bit strong of a word. Oh, I'm very excited to hear about it now. No, it's not embarrassing. It's a good movie. I think yeah. you'll agree that it's a good movie. Yeah. Um, it's uh, Dark Knight. That's a good movie. That's not embarrassing. It's embarrassing in the sense that like in that way that people <laughs> will talk about like oh yes i love the godfather uh yeah but like citizen kane and i'm like i like the batman movie but like so i mean i'm, I'm not gonna say any of those movies that normal cinemaphiles really seem to enjoy um but i feel like with comic book movies this is especially pertinent to and beans is actually kind of proving my point on this one a little bit where and i'm not i'm not saying that you know beans was like oh it's a great movie everyone came out and now is like after the fact is like oh it's cringy and all that but like i feel like a lot of people when the dark knight came out were like this is the greatest batman movie to have ever come out this is amazing heath ledger's performance transforms the character and himself and all this like amazing praise right and now since we've been distanced from it for so long i feel like i'm hearing more like yeah it's overrated it's cringy i don't know about that but like at the time that it hit it was revolutionary for comic book movies and everyone mm -hmm. said so this also happens with um age of ultron in a lot of the earlier marvel movies where people, I didn't like Age of Ultron at the time. I liked Age of Ultron when it came out. I still like it. I still think it's a good movie um, for what it needed to do because it had to introduce a lot of things in it really quickly. Is, this yeah. the, is it the best Marvel movie? Absolutely not, but it's not the worst one. 
I'll say it was the worst of the Avengers movies. Of, of Avengers movies, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. But like, for me, Iron Man three is like the absolute worst. I okay. cannot stand Iron Man three. They spend most of the movie with him not being Iron Man. Which is like, mm-hmm. I'm here for the Iron Man. I'm here for the guy in the metal suit, which I'm all about them exploring things like his PTSD after the events of the first Avengers movie, um, his relationship with not only himself, but with Pepper and, mm-hmm. you know, like how he kind of views himself in the world. That was all great. But when he's storming some rich guy's manor and he's like putting together these like MacGyver toys, I'm like, I'm not here for MacGyver. I'm here for Iron Man. Have him build like a makeshift makeshift suit like he did in the first movie and raid the crap out of that out of that manor. It's all I wanted. And he spent they spent way too long with him like in that action scene that wasn't even impressive. And it was such a good start too with like destroying his home and all of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I could go off on Iron Man three forever. But that's like my least favorite. Cancel day is gone. This is now an Iron Man 3 stream. Now guys. Iron Man 3. What's wrong with it stream? You're welcome. Yeah. Um, whenever I watch all the Marvel movies again, I skip that one every time. Okay. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I loved that movie when it came out. But I have I have since been like, okay. oh, yeah, it's not that good. Okay. I, I retract my O pressing of the button. That's retractive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I was disappointed, and then I chewed on it, and then I grew to hate it the more I chewed on it. So I just stopped yeah. chewing on it because I can't hate it any more than I currently do. Uh, I do, I do unironically love superhero movies, though. I think uh... I do too. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've always enjoyed comic books growing up, and I feel like um, the movies themselves have only really gotten better with. If you take out the the DC stuff, they've only gotten better over time. Yeah. There's, uh, like, there's yeah. like two good DC movies. <laughs> Wonder Shazam. Woman and Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I like Birds of Prey. I thought Birds of Prey. I did was not fun like too. Birds of Prey. For Ooh, the okay. they they um ruined a couple of really cool characters just for the sake yeah. of comedy, which I didn't enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Zaz was especially like a Yeah. Uh, a joke character who I'm like, oh, they could have done something cool, but like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it came, it went, it was over. They There were some cool elements. Black Canary was really cool. I did like her a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, that's like the only good thing I can really say about it, I think. So I'll, I'll circle back just real quick yeah, to yeah. why I'm mildly embarrassed about The Dark Knight, because I do I do still think it's a good movie. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll stand by that. Yeah. I think it is the fact that it is uh, as Bean's put it it is a thing where people do love to bring it up as like this masterpiece like it's like the the fifth ranked movie on imdb or something and i'm like like, i love it it's my favorite but i don't think it's like yeah a person says have a nice trip see you next fall in that movie that's an actual piece of dialogue that christopher nolan put in that movie (laughs) and i don't think any you know yeah well, also, too, like, the question is, what's your favorite movie? Not, like, what you think is the best movie of all time. You can have a right. favorite movie and not think it's the best movie of all time. Like, I think that gets misconstrued a lot. I have another. I have a backup answer that's oh, yeah, yeah, I embarrassing in a different one. Uh, Toy Story. Toy Story 1. That's a good one. Not 3? Yeah. No, I think uh, I, lo- I love all of them. Even, yeah. Even 4. Yeah. Um, but 1 was... I'm going to age myself a bit here. Uh, one came out when I was like, what the exact time? But I was very young. I was, I was, uh, I was less than a year old when that movie came out. Goddamn. Uh, yeah. Or I was, I was a little over a year old. Um, but, uh, we, we had a, we had a VCR growing up and my parents got me a toy story on VHS. Mm hmm. And uh, I learned how to operate a VCR from watching Toy Story because I would watch it and then I would rewind it all the way to the beginning and watch it again, rewind all the way to the beginning. That's so. Did you wear out the VHS? Uh, I think so. I think we had to get another <laughs> copy of Toy Story. On VHS. My um, my youngest brother, 
he had this Sonic the Hedgehog animated movie. And it was a little distracting for me because Knuckles had an Australian accent, which I understand like would he would have that kind of accent because an mm -hmm. Akinda is just like an Australian um, hedgehog, I think if I remember okay. correctly. But it just like caught me off guard and he wore like one of those like stereotypical like outback hats. Like it's not a cowboy oh, hat, sure. but it's like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that hat. And I was just like, the I never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I never visualized knuckles being super australian but like i guess he was in this movie and he watched it so many times that he wore it out in certain spots and eventually it just snapped like the tape just snapped and my parents refused to buy him another one so yeah yeah all right so mine's actually my two i'm gonna do my favorite and my backup too um okay. very similar themes to what you have going on i think my favorite movie, which I'm going to classify as the movie that I can watch over and over and over and over and over again um, without zoning out, without being like, oh, I don't like this part, is probably Spider-Verse. Ooh, yeah, that's a really good one. I've watched that movie maybe 15 times since it's come out, and I never fast forward through any parts. I never like look forward. Well, I look forward to like the um, the drop at the end. I can't remember what it's called, but like when he finally oh, embraces. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is like, I look forward to that part, but I don't never skip just to watch that part. I watch the whole movie and I love it. Like everything about it is just great. And it works on two different levels. It kind of like speaks to like my inner child with like that whole like Miles getting his abilities and like, you know, not being understood, stuff like that. It also speaks to my old man self with Peter B. Parker. Yeah. Which is just like a perfect storm of, of acting and writing and directing and visuals. Yeah, um, it's yeah, amazing. I uh, my nephew really loves it, and it's uh, a weird side effect. Not weird in that I think it's bad, but it's just it's strange to think about. Is uh, Miles is his default Spider-Man? Really? When he says Spider-Man. He's talking about Miles. Interesting. And I'm like, he's five, so that makes sense to me because I'm like, that movie came out. He was, I'm not good at math, but. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, three years older or whatever, and so he loves it and he watches it. And in that movie, Miles is the main character. Miles is Spider Man, and so it's still interesting that it's still not Peter because MCU Peter came out either right before or right after that. I don't remember. Yeah, I think they've held off on a lot of the before. MCU stuff. Okay, yeah, that they makes just, sense. They like to say the shit word a bit. Yeah, in, that's uh, true. PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about yeah. that. This is this is the kind of parent that I am. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess they do swear a lot. Maybe I shouldn't let my child watch that. <laughs> In the other room right now watching Age of Ultron. We definitely, so I'm not saying that we watch Twitch together on a semi-regular basis, and but I'm I'm also not not saying that too. Yeah, so I, I feel like she's going to be swearing a lot. <laughs> I don't think swearing's that bad. I, I I grew up in a pretty swear friendly household and I think I turned out okay. Yeah, I'm I'm I don't really care. I don't I don't really give a shit, but the missus as as you're just like, hey, hey, don't say it in school. <laughs> like that's that's kind of the big thing. Yeah, yeah, just don't repeat it. That these are home <laughs> words. Off, like <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um I think my backup is probably mm, Okay, two backups because I just thought of something else. Mhm. Mm a goofy movie okay from my childhood like i love that movie it's so funny uh Polly shore's in it randomly which is amazing uh great music it still like holds up to this day also great messaging all that good stuff mm -hmm. on the opposite end of the spectrum is probably john wick 2. Part oh two. man okay that's my least favorite john wick really yeah. i love that one the first one I don't like as much because the dog spoilers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh that yeah. one's a little hard to watch. The third one is fine, but I think number two kind of like takes it home for me. Granted, I haven't watched them all in a little bit. So okay. But I rem I remember when I uh, watched them all when the third one came out, I watched back to back to back. Mm -hmm. And this number two always stands out for me for some reason. Okay. I've only watched it the one time, so that might be part of it. Yeah, maybe. I've watched that one. Maybe I've also like, only seen three. Fair, fair, fair. Um, I like John Wick 2 more than Endgame. 
I like I like uh, Infinity War more than Endgame. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not That's like the fair. more I watch both of them because when you watch when I'm like oh, I'm gonna watch Endgame I'm like I might as well just make a whole day out of it and watch Infinity War before it. Yeah, I think I'm kind of with you there. But I also feel like that's I, like saying like um, Empire is your favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, it's cliche, but I think Endgame is my favorite of those. Of it's probably my favorite Marvel movie because of the theater experience. Okay. Because and they they put a clip of it in the the teaser video they put. Yeah, out I remember day, that. Yeah. Where it's like the footage from the theater. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, the theater I was in was exactly like that. Mine was—I like, was just gonna ask you—was your theater like that? Mine was exactly like that too. I usually wild. hate people yelling in a theater. Yeah, but like, there was no judgment going on for everyone like screaming out of their like losing their minds. Yeah. Oh at yeah. That part. Like they were building up to that for so long and through so many different writing teams. I feel like that. That payoff yeah. was something we all wanted, but we didn't know we wanted it. And that's why we got that reaction. Yeah. Which was amazing. Um, all right. We're going to move on because we're getting to, we're getting over time here. Uh, Apologies. But no, 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 no. It's, I apologize to you. I'm having, I'm having too good of a time and I just hog everyone's time. I'm, I'm greedy like that. Um, plus, I feel like you and I could just talk for the rest of the stream and that would be the whole yeah. the whole thing but we got games yeah, to really. play here i got i got zombies to shoot in the head they're not going to shoot themselves in the head here that yeah, i'm going to book you uh six months in advance now for yeah the, <laughs> what's your favorite game <laughs> yeah and all of our answers will just be different guaranteed yeah. guaranteed at least mine will be i know that i'm just like fickle like that so we're going to do would you rather questions we'll do two of them and we'll, we'll then i'll kick you out because you know we got things to do uh, right. I have generated a list of 10 would you rather questions. What we're going to do okay. is we're going to have chat pick the first one and then you pick the second one. So chat Got it. one through 10, you decide. And this is where the delay kicks in and I take a sip of my drink. Beans again, you know, let me get my drink. Beans says number four. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. This is this is an interesting one. Would you okay. rather be born with the head of a horse or the feet of a duck? Oh, feet of a duck. This is so easy. Why? Well, I mean, first of all, like branding wise, it works out. <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. Um, good, that's good. That's good. No, but also I feel like that's way easier to like. First of all, I think it's more useful. Then I think it's easier to cover up. So no, it's harder for people to like make fun of you for it. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's cute. It's yeah, it's, it's, you know, you just walk around. like. So, but, so here's the thing. You're ashamed of your duck feet and you hide them right in this scenario. I'm not saying you are, but like in this scenario yeah. and you have a hot date and you just <laughs> always leave shoes on all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're wide too, so I need like <laughs> I have to wear like socks and Crocs. And then your day is just like, what do you got, duck feet or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like swimming easier. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Uh, also, and if I'm you afraid. drop something on your foot, you could probably pick it up a lot easier without hit it hitting yeah. the ground. Mm -hmm. Um, the horse head. I'm trying to think of a of, of an upside. I know horses have a good sense of smell, but I don't think that evens it out. You could cosplay Bojack Horseman and not need to spend a penny. Ooh, that's true. Oh, yeah, I am still going duck feet. Uh, you also, if you go, you know how some people, like in, I don't know if anyone actually does this anymore, but in the sitcoms from like the 90s and prior, when you have like a two person costume, like as uh -huh. a horse and one person's yeah. the head or one person's the butt, you were guaranteed to be the head the whole time. True. You never Good have to smell that. someone else's butt. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going with duck too. I'm trying to trying to sway you to the horse yeah, head, but I am also feet of the duck. Yeah, there's. I can't think of. I mean, I can think of mild positive things that a horse head would be useful in. Um, yeah, you could cool mess. Hair. You could mess with people too, where you can mount. You look, look like you're a mounted head, and just start talking to people as they come into the room. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's still. It's still like. I feel like your sight isn't that great with this. 
Well, yeah, apparently they have good eyes, but but it's also like they're don't they have like side eyes? Because they're prey, yeah, they do. Right? That's they do. Yeah, yeah, they're they're side yeah, eyes. So depth perception's all all off. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Uh, I'm going with duck feet as well. We're gonna generate a list of ten new ones, uh, and now you get to decide one through ten. Uh, let's go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, would you rather be born with the head of a horse or the feet of a duck? Next okay. generate three <laughs> questions. Uh, okay, here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Um, would you rather? I'm doing this for suspense right now. Only be able to go out when it's light outside or when it's dark outside. No, I don't I don't go out when it's late outside. Anyway, I'm <laughs> But it's, what's up gamers? It's not it's uh, not like like if it turns light to dark or dark to oh, light, yeah. you are no, stuck yeah. where you are. So think about that. Um I I guess I go I I think I got to go light. Yeah. I think, I, I I think, think so like, too. my gut was dark. But then I'm I'm actually thinking of like, what do I do when it's dark outside? And it's like, I I I have social anxiety, so I don't go I don't go even before COVID times I didn't yeah, go out yeah. much. I yeah. Go to the bars. Um. And then like a weird, uh, a thing I I enjoy that, uh, I I don't know why I enjoy it as much as I do. I do like going to baseball games. I'm not a huge baseball fan, but I do love going to games. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like a couple times a year. Yeah, sure. And the thing is, you could do it, and it's always light outside, but you couldn't do it where it's always dark outside. Because the games always start when it's still a little light outside. That's true. But if you leave before the last inning, like I always do whenever I go, which is not often, then you might not have to worry about that. Yeah. You leave a couple innings left and you hop in the car, you listen to the rest, and then you're home safe and sound before you're in like stuck in the ballpark forever. I was I was shamed into never leaving early, so I, I don't ah. know that I, I think the earliest I've left is like the eighth inning. All right. Yeah, we always used to leave super early because my dad didn't want to deal with traffic or anything. Did you okay wait, less quick sidebar yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live close to a baseball stadium. Do I live close to a baseball stadium? Uh, did, you, did, did I growing up? Yeah. I lived... With, well, it I mean, depends, because, like, we're, we're talking... I lived, like, in a suburb that was, like, not even 20 miles south of Boston. But, like... Okay. So, depending on how traffic was, it could be not super long. But, like, Boston traffic just, like, sucks okay. so much. So, yeah. I'm a my I'm I'm from a family of Yankees fans, and we grew up like three hours outside of New York City. Yeah, and so it was it was a three hour trek in, and so if we're there, Might we're gonna well. yeah we're getting all of it. That's interesting that it's it actually for at least in our instances it worked the opposite way because you would think that if you had a longer trip, you'd want to just kind of like not spend any time in traffic or spend as little time in traffic as humanly possible. Versus mm -hmm. if you're like, oh, whatever, if I'm just like an hour in traffic, that's only an hour on top of the 20 minutes that I needed to get there. 20, 30 minutes that I need, needed to get there. That's yeah. Interesting. I never thought about yeah. that. Um, I am also going to say light because it's almost the same reasoning as you where I'm thinking about like what I do at night now that I'm old I, and I don't go anywhere. I just kind of like stay in here and, and talk to people on the internet and make them do phone calls with me. So I don't need to yeah, leave. Yeah, my content my would really suffer if I, <laughs> yeah, if I had yeah. to go outside at night. <laughs> There's also that. Um, and most of my stuff I do during the day, just because around my parts, nothing's really opened past like, I want to say latest midnight. The absolute latest I want to say is like midnight-ish, at least that I would frequent. So <laughs> We used to have a 24-hour Walmart and they shut it down. They didn't shut down the Walmart. They shut down the 24 hour aspect. Oh, okay. I was uh, going to say, wow. They shut down a Walmart. No, just cost too much. Cost too much. And uh, I wondered why for a little bit. And then I remembered that it was, we would be alone in a Walmart at 2 a.m. going through the $5 DVD section. 
Oh, and I'm man. like, yeah, they probably weren't turning a profit. That is probably best. So I think they, all, <laughs> they close from like midnight to six or something. Yeah. All right. I'm generating some more questions just for okay. one last one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're out of here. No, but, no. but thank you for, for agreeing to hang out and play cringy yeah. icebreaker games and would you rathers with me. Thanks for having me. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, while I'm while I'm generating these because it's taking forever for some reason, I guess I'm breaking this web page. It wasn't meant for so many regen- generations. Um, you can tell everyone if they want to follow you, where they can find you, and all that stuff. If you want, okay. no pressure. Yeah, I've I've locked down the name you see on screen. Uh, oh. I have I have truly achieved brand synergy. So you can find me on Twitter and Twitch, and those are the only platforms I use. So those are the only two you need. Nice. Uh, I play a lot of Apex, which is, you know, I mean, like, not, yeah. not the spectator sport. Uh, I play a lot of JRPGs, particularly Pokemon. I just finished Near Replicant. That was really good. Ooh. I played Yakuza 7 earlier this year. Um, I'm looking for a new single player game. More content, always welcome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um, I broke I broke the generator. This is oh. the question I got. Would you okay. rather receive a guaranteed two hundred fifty dollars? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's here's the last. Would you rather question? Um, okay. Would you rather watch Twitch.tv/slash Silence underscore Night or? Oh man! Would you rather watch Twitch.tv slash Booster Greg? Keep in mind, there are no extra characters in Booster Greg. There are no numbers in there. It's just you see it, you know it. Wait. So before I answer, can I give one fun uh, thing I noticed a couple months ago? Yes. <laughs> I was scrolling through Discord and I was like, um, I was like. I was scrolling. I was trying to get to S. I was trying to find SK. Yeah. And I couldn't. I couldn't find him. And then I scrolled to the top, and I realized he was there. This son of a bitch put a hyphen in front of his name, so he would appear at the top of the lists in every Discord. See, it's that kind of shifty kind of stuff that works against him that you just don't <laughs> like to see. You know. It was. It got me good. Um, <laughs> Classic. Yeah, I would rather stay here on twitch.tv slash Booster Greg every Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Got- oh, God. Look, at- look who's <laughs> in the chat. Well, look who decided to show up in chat. I was saying I liked it. There was nothing rude or derogatory about it. If it isn't hyphen silence underscore night i was going to i was scrolling through discord so i could click on his uh twitch stream which is live um every weekday besides friday at uh i don't know who even knows who even knows can i can i get some sk jams in the chat please can we clear out clear out sk in there please thank you all right kylan thank you so much for hanging out again i super appreciate it well yeah thank you for having me yeah no worries we'll have you back at some other time Have a good uh, rest of your stream. Yeah, thanks. Okay, bye. Kylum. Kylum, everyone. Kylum. If you are not following Kylum right now, what can I say? You're doing it wrong. You're just doing it wrong. I'm sorry to say that. You should follow him. He's a wonderful, wonderful person. And a good friend of mine as per the phone a friend all right we are going to do a quick brb and we're gonna change up to some days gone so don't go anywhere friends because i gotta pee